Next, we will crochet the number 5 stone plant. The method of crocheting is similar to the number 1 stone plant, but this time, we will be using two different colors, pale orange and pale yellow. We will use a 2.5 mm crochet hook. Firstly, take the pale orange yarn and create a chain knot. We need to crochet 6 chain stitches. Then we will crochet from the second last stitch, 4 single crochets. Three single crochets in the same stitch. And another four single crochets. This round ends with 11 stitches. I'll demonstrate how to change the yarn color. Insert the hook into the last stitch, pull the yarn through. There are now two loops on the hook. Place the pale yellow yarn under the hook and pull it through to complete the color change. Remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. completing the first round. Next, let's crochet the second round. In this round, we need to crochet single crochet increase, four single crochets, another increase, and five single crochets. The round ends with 13 stitches. Start by making a chain stitch. Crochet single crochet increase. Four single crochets, crochet single crochet increase. and five single crochets. Remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. Thus completing the second round. For the third round, we will crochet 13 single crochets into the back loops only. This round also ends with 13 stitches. Begin by making a chain stitch. You will notice that the loop farthest from you is the back loop. Crochet into it. A 
and complete the third round on your own. Remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. The third round is now complete. At this point, half of our stone plants is done. Make a chain stitch and cut the yarn. You need to make another half of the stone plants in the same manner. I won't demonstrate. After that, place them together and sew 7 stitches to join them. Take the yarn we used before and insert the hook into the remaining stitches. Pull the yarn through to make a chain stitch. Begin the fourth round by crocheting 12 single crochets. and complete the third round on your own. Remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. And the fourth round is complete. Stuff some cotton and arrange the yarn. For the fifth round, we need six single crochet decreases, leaving six stitches at the end of this round. Make a chain stitch and proceed to do single crochet decrease. And then another. Complete the fifth round on your own. Remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. And the fifth round is complete. At this point, the body of our stone plants is complete. Make a chain stitch and leave a sufficiently long tail of yarn for later use. Yarn this yarn through the sewing stitches. Then sew the opening shut. Finally, sew the two ends of the stone plant together.
Cut off and hide any excess yarn. And your number 5 stone plant is now complete.